The brutal executions by Islamic State have drawn comparisons to the increasingly regular beheadings carried out in Saudi Arabia. A top Saudi official hit back at international criticism, saying the country executes convicts on a legal basis, unlike Islamic State. However, both the terrorist group and the Gulf monarchy base their versions of justice on a hardline interpretation of Sharia law. Blasphemy, homosexual acts, treason and murder are punishable by death through beheading in Saudi Arabia and Islamic State. Under both regimes, convicted married adulterers can even be stoned to death. Stealing is also a serious crime in both cases and is punishable by the amputation of a hand. In fact, uh, since the start of the year, more people have been publicly put to death in Saudi Arabia than actually under Islamic State. The Saudi record has been slammed by human rights watchdogs, though Western governments are turning a blind eye because of their alliance with Riyadh. Well, that's according to activist Danny Mackey. This is not just a violation of human rights, it's a violation of, of pure humanity. So when Saudi Arabia compares this to a legitimate Islamic way of punishment, then they're no better than ISIS. In my opinion, Saudi Arabia has a sort of political consensus or a deal with the Western countries. They continue to commit human rights abuses, and in return, the West is silent on this for political, uh, for political credit, for, for continuation and excellent economic relations. Saudi Arabia, in terms of a human rights sense, it is one of the worst states in the world and the king being deceased and a new king coming into power this won't change anything as this is a problem within Saudi Arabia which is met with genuine silence by the West and this makes the West complicit in these forms of, of violence perpetrated by Saudi Arabia.